Hello, this is Jockin, coach of the San Francisco Cinderies. Today I wanted to continue my series talking about roles in team building. Uh, today I wanted to talk about setup sweepers. Uh, now, setup sweepers are any Pokemon that gets access to a boosting move like Sword Stance, Bulk Up, uh, Shell Smash, Nasty Plot, Calm Mind, moves like that that are going to boost your offensive attacking stats. Uh, these Pokemon are similar to Wall Breakers, they can sometimes be the same Pokemon, uh, but you, you use them a little differently in battle. Wall Breakers are there to stop the opposing walls, Setup Sweepers are usually there to kill your opponent's uh, Pokemon that would be their own Wall Breakers or Sweepers, is the idea. Now, uh, Setup Sweeper, like I said, is mainly defined by having at least one Setup move. Like I said, whether that be something like Swords Dance or Bulk Up or Dragon Dance or any move that's boosting your offensive stat. In this Mimikyu's case, it's Attack. Um, and in a lot of Pokemon's case, they'll get multiple, like this Mimikyu. You can see it gets Bulk Up and it gets Swords Dance. Uh, the reason that Sword Stance is usually run is that Pokemon like this aren't trying to stay alive forever. They're just trying to pick up as many kills as they can in a short period of time. So you want a move that's going to get you a two attack boost in one turn rather than taking two turns to get the same result with a bulk up. So uh, using Sword Stance is preferable if your Pokemon gets it. Uh, but sometimes there are cases to be made for running the other moves like bulk up it might help you live a move you might not otherwise thanks to the defense boost or using dragon dance like you need to outspeed something and speed from dragon dance might be nice uh, so that is something to take into consideration but in general the two stage boosting moves tend to be better uh, now the rest of the setup sweeper aside from their boosting move is usually going to be three attacks uh, and you need to make sure that these attacks would all be the same type in Mimikyu's case, physical attacks, and if you're not sure, if you type in physical and filter, it'll pull up all the physical moves this Pokemon knows, so that way you can just be sure uh, that you're using physical attacks and not special attacks. Now, once you've got your three attacks picked out, you're going to need to pick out an item, and there's a couple traditional ones that you see on Setup Sweeper's Life Orb is pretty common. Uh, it gives you a 30% damage boost and you lose one tenth of your HP. Like I said, these Pokemon aren't intending to stay around forever. They aren't going to be there uh, the entire match. They're usually going to pick up two to three kills as your goal and then they're going to die to something is the idea. So a life orb isn't bad because you're not intending to keep it around like a wall. You don't need to keep it the entire match. Uh, so life orb is a traditional one. Expert belt is another popular one. Uh, any attack that's super effective, get a 20% damage boost on top of being super effective. And there's a couple other options you could run if you want. Uh, there is a Lumberry for your physical attackers. Now Lumberry uh, cures any major status condition which would be Toxic, Poison, Sleep, Freeze, Paralyze, or Burn. And the reason you run it on physical attackers and not special attackers, uh, Burns cut your physical damage in half. So let's say you get a Swords Dance off and you get burned. Your attack is back where it started. You're not lowered, but you're not raised from your sword stance either. So a Lumberry is there to help get rid of a burn if you think your Pokemon might get burned. Uh, you also have uh, a few other options. There's a move for ev or, uh, an item for every type in the game. Uh, in this case, it would be Spell Tag that raises ghost moves by 1.2, or we can pull up, you can see Pixie Plate would boost my uh, fairy attacks by 1.2. So if you look up, there's a list of these that all boost uh, whatever type move you're looking for by 1.2 times. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to try and list all of them off right now because that would be quite a while, but uh, that's the general idea. And then on your EVs, most setup sweepers are going to be running speed and attack. Uh, setup sweepers in general are very fast and have good attacking stats, but like you can see on this Mimikyu, they tend to be very frail with just about average or slightly above average defenses in some cases. So you want to be as fast as possible, and you want to be able to do as much damage as possible. Uh, so make sure you have your speed and attack maxed out, and your nature, you should be taking a plus speed or plus attack or special attack nature most of the time on a setup sweeper as well. So that's kind of a quick run through. Uh, I thought I could give you a few more examples though, like we have here a Rotom Heat. Uh, this would be an example of a special setup sweeper. Uh, Rotom, not just Rotom Heat, any Rotom gets nasty plot. Uh, and it gets some pretty good special coverage from Thunderbolt, Overheat, Dark Pulse, uh, those being its three attacks there. And you can see the EVs is the same idea. It's going to be maximum speed, maximum special attack. And for his item, we gave him a magnet, which is going to boost his electric type moves. Um, that's just another example of a special attacker. Uh, if you wanted, 
There's a few other things. Uh, these two are somewhat special cases. Uh, now, Barbarical is one of the few Pokemon that gets Shell Smash. A lot of the other moves, like I talked about, like Calm Mind, uh, like Nasty Plot, or Swords Dance, or Dragon Dance, um, they're pretty common. A lot of Pokemon get them, a lot of Pokemon get multiple of them. Shell Smash is a lot less distributed, and there's a very good reason. Shell Smash is one of the, if not the, strongest setup move in the game. Uh, it lowers your defense and special defense by one, but it raises your attack, special attack, and speed by two stages, and that's for one turn. Um, or not for one turn, that costs one turn. It's the same amount of time as using a bulk up or a move like that. Uh, on top of that, most Shell Smash users run White Herb. Uh, White Herb will get rid of the lowered defense and special defense so that you're only getting the boosts from Shell Smash. So in reality, you're getting a plus two, plus two, plus two uh, at the cost of one turn's worth of uh, setup time. So it's very strong, but like I said, it's only on a few things. The notable ones would be like Cloyster uh, and Barbarical, I guess Turtonator as well. There might be a few more I'm forgetting, but it's only on a handful of Pokemon. Um, the ones it is on are all very threatening. Barbarical's pulled off a couple good matches in the league, if you want to go and look at him. Uh, I know he got picked up this season. He could be very threatening, and it's something to remember if you have to play against him. Uh, and the last one that's sort of a special case is going to be Volcarona. Now, Volcarona is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. It's an absolute monster when you use it properly. Uh, it gets Quiver Dance, which is similar to Shell Smash, that it raises special attack, special defense, and speed by one. Uh, that's unique in that there aren't many other moves, setup moves, that boost more than two stats. So getting all three boosted is very nice. And it's all stats Volcarona has that are pretty high to begin with. So you're sort of doubling down on what you're good at already. Uh, this Volcarona set, though, is unique in that Volcarona, because of Quiverdance boosting three stats at once, can get away with this sort of weird set here. That it's max HP, max defense, and some speed. It has no special attack investment and has a defensive nature. The reason being uh, that Volcarona already has good special attack special defense and speed and you're going to be boosting them with quiver dance so between the combination of quiver dance and this ev spread you want to stay alive for a while to get maybe one or two quiver dances off so you're going to run roost volcarona gets a roost which is unusual for a non-flying type and you're going to carry leftovers to help keep it pretty healthy on top of that it only runs two attacks in comparison to most pokemon that run three uh, and it gets one called fiery dance i think there's only one other pokemon it might be oracorio it gets Fiery Dance, and I don't think Oracorio is in this generation, so Volcarona is presently the only one that gets it. Uh, Fiery Dance is 80 power, which is 10 less than Flamethrower. You can see right here, Flamethrower, base 90, same accuracy of 100, 16 PP, 50% chance to raise your special attack by 1. On top of all the Quiver Dances you just used, that probably get you to at least plus 2 special attack, now one of your main attacking moves also has a 50% chance, a coin flip! To boost your special attack one stage further so volcarona is very threatening if it gets uh running it's very hard to deal with um it's probably uh, i'm probably biased because like i said it's one of my favorite pokemon but it's probably one of the best setup sweepers in the game uh if you ask me and this sort of um idea of a bulky setup sweeper isn't unique to volcarona like for example the gardevoir that i have on my team does something similar if we do this quickly here, uh, substitute call mind, moonblast, and psychic. So this is a common set as well. The, the reasoning here, Gardevoir does not get nasty plot. If you look, uh, this is where nasty plot would be at right in here. It does not learn it. So call mind is its only boosting move, and that's plus one special attack. So the idea here is you run substitute, which is going to take damage for you. Uh, so that you have more than one turn to set up Calm Mind, and you can get the same effect as a Nasty Plot. Now, it does take more time to pull off, so it's not ideal, but it is a way to do it if your Pokemon only gets access to these plus one boosting moves. Substitute Leftovers is a good idea, then, because it'll help, uh, help get you an opportunity to set up safely for multiple turns without having to take a lot of damage. Uh, so that is something you can run on Pokemon like Gardevoir to get access to Substitute and a boosting move of their choice. 
Um, I thought I would go quickly to uh, one of the replays from this season. Uh, this is going to be your LA Lucarios versus Golden State Garchomps. Uh, the one in this case is going to be the LA Lucarios uh, Inteleon, and it doesn't use a traditional setup move. It's going to use Focus Energy, which gives it increased critical hit chance. So it basically gives it a damage multiplier because the set he's running, uh, he's running Focus Energy plus an item called Scope Lens, which gives him extra crit chance on top of the Focus Energy. So he has in, on one of his moves called Snipe Shot because Snipe Shot has an extra critical hit chance as well. So the combination of all three, Snipe Shot, Scope Lens, and the Focus Energy, guarantees it's going to be a critical hit every time he uses the move. So it basically works as a uh, Calm Mind that it's going to boost his damage for sure every time he uses it. His other moves have about a 60% chance to critical hit. Uh, which is still very respectable, but uh, you can see here he's going to be able to G-Max and he's going to be able to get running with this um, Focus Energy is the idea. You can see that's a that's a Toxapex that just took 80% of its health uh, on one move, which is absurd damage. He's going to have to switch out and you can see the Obstagoon is going to get crit and it's going to die in one shot. And the next thing is going to come in here and is going to share a similar fate. It's going to get the Sucker Punch off, but it's not going to live a Max Darkness critical hit from a G-Max Inteleon. So you can see this is what a Setup Sweeper is meant to do. It's meant to come in, set up its move, and get off two to three kills. That's its job. Because now he's gotten out of the way, the Obstagoon, the Dusk Noir, and he has weakened the Toxapex. That's what a Setup, that's its whole job. Do as much damage as possible go down eventually. You're not expecting him to win the game single-handedly, you just want him to pick up a couple of kills. Now the tricky thing with setup sweepers can be trying to find the right time to switch them in. Um, you're, you're trying to find a free turn, right? If we go back to the example that was at the beginning, you can see he switches in on the Mawile. Now the reason he switches in on the Mawile is because he didn't think he would take damage. He figured the Mawile was going to use Stealth Rocks, he guessed correctly. That, that is part of the challenge of using a Setup Sweeper, is that you need to guess when it's safe to bring them in, that you're not going to take much damage, and when you have that free turn, when you think your opponent's going to switch out. Like you can see here, he correctly predicts that the opponent is going to switch out, so he has a free turn to set up Focus Energy. Uh, if he predicts incorrectly and takes damage, it's not the end of the world, but this is the ideal scenario. You force the opponent to switch out, you get a turn to set up your focus energy, your dragon dance, your nasty plot for free, and then you can sweep from there is the idea. So using the damage calculator to look and see uh, what moves might not do much damage, like for example, um, I've had matches where I know like, oh, this, this Pokemon can only do 20% damage to me when I switch in. Like, um, my match against the Mighty Psyduck, had I brought Nasty Plot Salazzle and thought I had a good opportunity to use it, I could have switched in on a Dazzling Gleam because I four times resist it, and I would have taken like 20 to 30%. That's not a bad opportunity to set up Nasty Plot because that Togekiss doesn't want to stay and fight a Salazzle because I have the type advantage. So manipulating that sort of thing is the ideal scenario, and you'll learn those sort of matchups with time as you play the game more. But in general, just try and get your setup move off and go from there. Because once you get it off, just try and do like we saw here. You're just trying to get two to three kills with your Pokemon before it dies. You don't need to worry about holding on to it. Um, and like I said, ideally they should be fast and they should have good attacking stats. So yeah, that's going to be uh, our video about setup sweepers. I hope you enjoyed and found it helpful and thank you for watching.